Welcome back to part three in our video series that forms part of our International Wedding Trend Report for 2015. Today, we're talking the three C's of weddings, cakes, cocktails, and catering. And if this doesn't get your mouth watering, then nothing will. So to kick things off, we're looking at the big trends in wedding cakes for the forthcoming year. Cakes are back big time. Everyone seems to want big, over-the-top cakes. Personalization is set to be a huge trend for 2015 as couples look to create something truly unique and different for their wedding. Encouraging couples to inject their own story and personality into their wedding cake is a really great way of achieving this. So from cakes decorated with the city skylines of a couple's hometown to designs inspired by a family heirloom, basing a cake around such personal elements is a surefire way of creating a unique design that provides a real talking point for guests. Now it's all about the taste. We are going to see couples becoming braver and more experimental with flavours as they're happy to dedicate a little bit more of their budget to really treating their guests. So we're going to be seeing some really rich, indulgent flavours such as caramel cake with salted caramel buttercream and chocolate orange cake with Belgium chocolate orange ganache. Now it's commonplace for couples to select a number of complementary flavours and serve either as one multi-tiered cake or a number of single-tiered cakes to be displayed as a beautiful cake dessert bar. You know, a real focal point for the evening's celebration. Now, the top cake stars for the forthcoming year, in no particular order, are as follows. Sequin cakes, love this look. Buttercream cakes. Metallics, which of course goes in with the colour trend that we've been talking about. French-influenced treats such as macaroons, croquembouche and crepes. Mixed shape tiers, that's going to be another big one. And cakes featuring just one layer. Floral design. So flowers are going to be woven much more into the design of the cake. As we've mentioned, unique flavours is up there, as is the naked cake, which has been so popular in 2014. This one's a new one on me, though. Pancake cake. So a cake layered with pancakes. All right, moving on to cocktails and catering. We have some more fun ideas to share with you. So from the ever-changing landscape of social eating venues and bars, there seems to have come an appetite to bring a less formal dining experience into weddings. People are sharing more, so they're passing food around tables and swapping to the traditional formality for a much more intimate style. Instead of the traditional champagne receptions, we are seeing concepts such as craft ale bars, seasonal cocktails using fresh organic ingredients. There's champagne with a twist. The champagne towers have returned, certainly for the more formal affairs anyway. Although a more casual and colourful option is mixing in fruit purees to create a signature cocktail that matches the colour palette of the wedding. Smaller sips, so be it the flights of craft beer, shots of different bourbons, wine samplings, sangria that goes from white to pink to deep red, or even a lemonade or fizzy soda bar. Couples are letting guests sample an array of beverages. These types of different drink stations are yet another way to let guests peek into the couple's personal tastes, with the added bonus of helping them keep that bar budget definitely in check. Family style dining. Guest interaction is a big goal for today's couples and nothing gets a conversation started quite like a meal served family style, with guests passing beautifully plated entrees and sides. It's relaxing and it works well with both upscale and laid back settings. Another trend is the tasting station, and these have taken over the cocktail hour with couples showing off their favourite foods in manageable portions, from oyster shucking stations and mac and cheese bars, to make it your own taco stands, to local food trucks pulling right up to the patio. The idea is to surprise guests with an unexpected assortment of party food. The going local trend is still around and the farm-to-table restaurant concept is finding its way onto plates at weddings with a push toward organic vegetables and more cost-effective cuts of meat and poultry such as chicken thighs. Bite-sized portions. In the last year or two, portion sizes have changed significantly. It's very fashionable right now to order lots of small plates to share with your group when eating out. This is also transferred to the corporate catering as well, where small bite options are becoming increasingly popular. The idea is to serve small bowls of food that can be easily eaten while standing and networking with other guests. It's simple and fun and allows people to try a number of different flavours without having to juggle a large plate. 
mini desserts. There's a general rule that if something can be consumed in one bite or less, then it's totally guilt-free. Trust me. Which is why brides and grooms are flocking to have mini desserts at their wedding. An array of gorgeous sweet treats such as mini chocolate cups filled with white chocolate, mini chocolate brownies, summer fruit jelly, fruit trifle with amaretto biscuit, mini Eaton mess pots or even petite vanilla panna cotta are offered to guests. Another big trend is the chef station. Live food service is always a winner and is set to become a big entry into the wedding market for 2015. A great way to entertain guests as they watch chefs pampering tasty dishes at interactive food stores. It can be a little hard to do at large weddings, but with the smaller numbers, it works perfectly. Another one is hors d'oeuvre and drink pairings. So great cocktails, hours, they need two things, good food and good drinks. And this trend now is to offer perfectly curated pairings of hors d'oeuvres with mini cocktails or shots. So mini paella cups with mojitos or short rib sliders with bourbon. Fried oysters with Bloody Mary shots, tiny tacos with margaritas. You get the idea. It's a great way and simple way to put a fresh, fun spin on the usual cocktail hour. Late night snacks. Even if your couple want a very formal seated wedding, there's always room for a little something unexpected in the menu. We love the trend of offering late night snacks later on in the reception after the drinking and dancing are in full swing. At this point, your guests probably aren't going to be hungry, but they're never going to turn down a great little snack either. Try upgraded fun comfort food served in stylish ways like mini milkshakes, sliders and fries, bite-sized churros, coffee and donuts and mini hot dogs. It really ends the night on a high note. Brunch. Brunch weddings can be so charming and the menus can be a lot of fun. Who doesn't love brunch? Choose from omelette bars, espresso and donuts, mimosas, Bellini and Bloody Mary bars, French toast stations, biscuit bars, the list goes on. Well, that brings us to the end of today's cakes, cocktails and catering trends. Now, for a more detailed look at what's trending in 2015, you can see and download our wedding trend report from any of our websites. Next week, we're talking styling, decor and floral design. So join us to see what's going to be hot for the year ahead. Okay, I made a couple of cock-ups with them.